What's up? I thought I might film a quick update. I'm outside with dog. Uh, it's Mother's Day today. I don't have a G-Shock on, so I can't tell you the date. I probably could on my phone. You know, apparently not. Um, today is Mother's Day, so I should probably give it away. Not sure if that's associated with a date or a weekend. Because I'm not a mother, so I don't pay much attention. But I have a mother, and she's off doing her annual Mother's Day walk. It's a pretty nice day for a walk, so I hope she's enjoying herself. You know, I've been in bed for most of today, so I haven't really got much done. But, uh, I might show you around, film an update. Heck, I might even upload this video. So I wanted to use the natural light, but I'm looking out the window and there's not much of it left. Let's get on with this update. So, uh, I recently blew up my amplifier and it's the one I use daily on my main PC in the room I like to call the studio, but it's an office. It's the other room I occupy in the house, it isn't my bedroom. Um, I blew up my amplifier and how I did that is a bit of a story. On my local bar swap and sell, there was a record player, FM radio, uh, tape player, tuner thingo with the amplifier built in that came with stereo pair of speakers. And it was going for $20. I thought that was a great deal, so I went out and got it. Um, the woman was nice. Yeah, didn't really talk too much. It was her parents' old home and they'd moved or something. So I brought that home. And I tested it out, and the record player portion of it was pretty shitty, as far as I had it set up. I didn't really test it properly, but I just assumed it was trash anyway. Um, I thought it was good originally, because I read about them, the specific model, and they seemed to be reviewed pretty okay online. But I thought, I don't really need it. I was going to have it here in my bedroom, but I just decided to bugger it. So it wasn't a gem. So what I did was I grabbed the two speakers that came with it, and I'll have uh, photos up in this video. I grabbed them and plugged them into my B pair of speakers on my amplifier, and uh, they sounded pretty good. The response curve of the speakers I have, aside from the crossovers being completely shit, or, well, corroded probably, I haven't actually figured out how to get into those speaker cabinets yet. Um, the response curve of the speakers I had was a U shape and those ones was an N shape so it really filled in a gap. But yeah, so I wired them all up and had a listen to them and they sounded great and I swapped over the polarity because it didn't sound right to my ear. But I wanted to just double check it and make sure that the polarity on all four speakers on that desk was right. So what I did was opened up Audacity and gave it a 2Hz frequency, sorry, a subsonic and played it back and I wanted to watch the cones move in and out so I all know that they're all in the same polarity and um, what I ended up doing was turning it up so I could see the cones move and in the process of doing that I blew it up so I wasn't really sure how I blew it up a few days later I decided to open it up and it turns out there was a fuse blown so last night was our school's dinner dance which is a, just a formal event Everyone gets a date, yada yada yada, and uh, the date is today, as of filming this, the uh, 13th. It's a Sunday, and it's Mother's Day. Um, not sure if you've seen this before, but Sonic Watch it doesn't work anymore. I used to love this, but its strap was breaking, so I decided to try and preserve it. I want to get a Milanese watch strap for it sometime in the future, but the watch I had instead. A Suzu G-Shock. I think it's just a G100, so it's most basic function G-Shock, but it's a bloody tough watch, and I live a tough life. Flexing. Anyway, so last night was the uh, dinner dance. I'll chuck some photos up on screen now. <laughs> Pretty good time. Uh, the theme was James Bond 007. I uh, went with my girlfriend, got some pictures, ate some okay food. It's not as good as other years, and it was kind of controversial because um, 
they removed year 12 parents from the agenda. So usually all the parents in year 12, which is the last year of high school, would go. But this year they decided they couldn't because all the year levels below were too big for the venue. Which uh, everyone was pissed off about, but I don't reckon they're ever going to bring it back. So we were just an experimental group. They have um, a DJ, a local DJ called DJ Youngie. He's... It was okay last year, but we're just not that fond of him, personally. And like, a few other people just don't like him, because he's not super great, but he's... Seems like a nice bloke, and like, some people know him, I think, so... We got him in. I didn't hit the D floor once, but I took a few photos of the monkeys. It's just awkward, because the teachers just stand there all like this, watching you. And you just go on ham sober to some fucking shit tunes, I just can't get around it. It's probably because I know too much of the technical side about how all that works and then uh, just ruins it for me. So how's school going? Um, okay, I'm pretty behind on distance ed. Um, my teacher told me to pull my finger out the other day. Distance ed's like, they offer classes and if your school doesn't offer them, you do it with them. So they're another school. It's kind of, it's just school of the air basically, if you know what that is. Distance education, it's short for. Um, I'm doing music styles and composition. And at the moment we're just analysing Mozart and just all this dreary shit. It's just so meaningless. I don't know. I'm also struggling to get around that. But uh, the composition aspect of it to come at the end of this year, or the second half anyway. Ah. Uh, I could get around that, so I'm just hanging out for that to come about. Uh, game design, it's going pretty well. Teacher's still pretty useless. He's a nice bloke, but he's not trying to harm anyone. He did make me cry once, but I don't think he intended it. He just was, um, when the plebiscite was happening, he was just like, who will vote no? No one will vote yes. People who vote yes won't win. And then the yes vote got through, and gay marriage is legal now, so I've got that choice if I ever take it. But yeah, game design's going good. I'll chuck up some screenshots of what I'm making. Um, this is supposed to be a giraffe. It's kind of... It is, this is a creepy giraffe. It hasn't got any textures yet. And I'm still rigging it. The idea is an arcade game where you fight off enemies wave by wave in like... the grassland sort of scenario. And you just whack them with your head. That was the idea for my game with my giraffe. Uh, English is going good, we're reading with the lieutenant, I haven't read it yet, but yeah, there's not really much to say about it, I just listen to the audiobook when I can. My birthday's coming up, turning big 18, be able to drive around, be able to get in the piss. I don't drink. Be able to go and camp out wherever I want, whenever I want, within reason. But Jim, how are you going personally? It's hard days, there's easy days, and we can all relate to that. Um... Sometimes you can find no purpose and sometimes you just can find no reason to move and do something else. Personally, I feel like I've become addicted to YouTube lately <laughs> and I feel like it's been going on for a while. I just watch YouTube. I mean, I'm on it now, so at least I'm taking action about my addiction. But, um, yeah, you just don't feel like there's any choices you can make. Other days you've got shit to do, but yeah, it's hard to find a reason to actually get going. My main motivation is to get to the end of this year is um, my best friend of ever, ever said he'd come to my graduation. And that means a lot. My motivation to get beyond the end of this year is to move out of home. Not enjoying this place. It's... You just get sick of it. I'm pretty angsty. Like, it's easy for me personally to get angry at my parents. Because sometimes they just fucking suck. That said, it is Mother's Day today, and I shouldn't say that, but yeah, I'm sure some of you can relate, and if you can't, well then, whatever. <clears throat> Before I close this out, I'll just give us a little quick tour of everything. Desk still there, keep the heater on there for when I push the chair in, but heater right there. Uh, bed, not much to, it's just a bed, bit of this, bit of that. Got this screen and the speaker here, chuck my laptop up here sometimes and just watch the movie on the screen while I'm chilling in bed. Got this thing, uh, came from, uh, that record player. My laptop, um, it's basically a desktop now, it won't work unless it's plugged in charging. Got all the clothes, got this little, down here in the so-called studio. These are the speakers that blew up this amplifier. 
and uh, pretty sad about that, but I'll get it fixed up. This is the box that the G-Shock uh, came in. We got it for free for Dad doing a survey when he bought the Ute, but uh, that's just where I keep the Sonic watch to protect it. Here is that record player that I pulled apart. This is where the fuses are from, and also there was one in here that I pulled out down in there. That's the little fuse holder. Oh uh, yeah, pulled this shit apart. <laughs> it's pretty fucking trashy now, I've just got nowhere to put it. One more thing before I close this out. I changed the channel name to Low Res because uh, when I won't go out, it felt kind of tacky to me. Don't know how you felt about it, or one of you. But uh, yeah, I feel like Low Res is kind of cooler personally. And it matches the bio I put in. I'm not putting in too much effort into this. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I'll ever upload a new vlog. That's the attitude for every video. Although I did do two in a row once. But yeah. So uh, we're low res now. Thanks for watching the update video. Updating you about what's been updated in my life. Oh.